What's up, comic and pop culture fans? I just got an awesome collection right here. This guy I bought this from is actually a retired shop owner. I bought from him before. So there's a lot of books significantly under fair market value, which means I'm gonna be able to, in turn, sell them under fair market value. So I'm really excited to get this stuff ready for you guys. I don't have time to show you every single box, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this one. Also, ignore those uh, price stickers that you're seeing on the books. They are not applicable. Very nice. Clandestine, we got a lot of good stuff here. I needed more Daredevil, so this is actually pretty good. First appearance of Nuke. Classic. What we got here? Some Detective Silvers. I barely even remember grabbing that. <laughs> Detective's always a good mover, so... That's good to go. Faust. Uh, fun fact, I've never actually grabbed any Faust books before. You know why? Because they're ridiculously hard to find, incredibly low print. Man, that's metal as hell. Jesus. Yeah, these Faust books are extremely graphic, gory, and ridiculous, but they're also very, 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 very low print. In fact, like I just said, I've never found them, so it's pretty crazy to see that is the newsstand. Uh, pretty crazy to see them, okay? Very nice. Hercules, I think that's the full mini series. Yes. I'm actually going to take out some books so I can sort through here a little better for you guys. All right. Much better. We got Human Fly, number one. Infinite Crisis, three. And five, the sketch variant. Uh, Hercules, Prince of Power. I think that was supposed to go with the rest there. Check out all these book and record sets. Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. They all have the record in them, so that's sweet. Then we got the Ned Leeds as Hobgoblin, Puma. Then we got this classic, this Kang classic. Good stuff here, guys. You seeing this? First ever Haunted Mansion. Good timing on that. We got some Silver Age Captain Adam. I was actually recently asked about this in my claim sales. Now I actually have it. First cover of Tim Drake. We got a little pinch of Swampy. Very nice. Birds of Prey number one. Just some newsy ASM McFarlands. Can't go wrong. And Larson. I think I got a few Alpha Flight number ones. Some Adventure Comics. Some more Adventure Comics. Some Thor. I don't remember what that is, actually. We did get the second appearance of Nova. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay. Moving on to a little pinch of X-Men keys right here. Border cover. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's more swampy. I think that's the one where he actually gets his powers. We got a plop number one. That is not a $5 book. Like I said, ignore those stickers, guys. Sometimes they're a little low. Sometimes they're a little high. Ignore them. Uh, first Jane Foster as Thor. First everything. I don't have enough time to list how many keys are in that thing. giant size Superman. I run into Superman 183 a lot lately. Pretty crazy. ASM. We got a signed copy. Oh, I have to look into... Who signed that? Ron... I can't read that. Whatever. All right. ASM 539. Very nice. And then we have this whole arc that everybody loves. We got a little bit of brand new day here. Craven's first hunt. And new ways to die. It's incomplete. I don't think it had a 569 in there, but that's okay. I actually just got a full run that does include 569. So that's all right. We got the second print here. Some more ASM, one moment in time. Very nice, very nice. First speedball. That's a facsimile. Uh, I just love that cover, man. Mm, those two face covers. 
Some more Batman. That'll be for the shop. Year one. I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't think part one was in there. Very nice. First KG Beast. First Tim Drake. Um, what was this? The death of Sarah. Oh, I forget her last name. That's okay. Campbell cover there. Uh, the classic Jason returning. Another classic David Finch. Little pinch of new fifty two here. Some uh, smaller keys. Blade Runner full set. Speaking of movie adaptations, we got Batman, and that is a new stand. Batman Strikes, number one. A little bit of Howard the Duck. More Howard the Duck. First appearance of Virus. Not the virus you're thinking of, but yeah. Uh, Spider-Man 97. Excuse me, Spectacular Spider-Man 97. Nice full run of Secret Invasion. We got a full run of Raiders of the Lost Ark. One, two, three. Got a few of these classic Punishers. By the way, guys, there are going to be some submittable candidates in here. Um, I just really need to go through, open them up, really make sure that they're looking good. Now, there we go. That's a nice one right there. Nightwing number one. Oh, you know what? I forget what it's called, but... Mm. First appearance of that. First appearance of that boy. It's more swampy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. God, no, I love Swamp Thing. Uh, we got a Marvel Tales. That's the ASM or AF15 reprint right there. First appearance of Murder World and Arcade. And second Captain Britain in U.S. Comics. Fun fact. We got two giant size man things and Spider Mans. Giant size Avengers. There's a lot going on in this book. Watch out for that one. We got a spectacular Spider Man number one. We got the first full appearance of Archangel. We got the first cameo of Apocalypse. We got the unbelievable classic of Wonder Woman number one. We got some Adam Hughes Catwoman. We got some Cherry Pop-Tart. Now, someone just bought one and two from me. If you're watching this video, I now have three, four, five, I guess I don't have six, seven, eight, nine. Bam. So reach out to me if you want the rest. <laughs> uh, another one of these. Nice. A Gru number one. Very nice. A classic what if right here. Doesn't get much more classic than that. Then we have, this is the Scotty Young variant of Jane Foster becoming Thor. I've actually gotten a 9.8 in that before. Some 12 cent Batman, very nice. This is the first appearance of the question, but watch out. You ever see the modern comics logo up there? That means it's the 70s reprint. The original book was 1967, I wanna say. I got a sticker stuck, caught on the back there. All right, then we have the classic Marvel Presents number three, first Guardians of the Galaxy solo book. And then we've got Jemmy, son of Saturn, and that is the full run hiding in there. Kate Kane becomes Batwoman. Super Sons number one. Uh, first appearance of somebody that starts with an M. I can't remember. Then we got the... Now, this is cool. Digital copy inside version of Batman 28, Harper Row. Uh, just a little bit of Batman. First appearance of Plastique. Classic New Gods. Uh, isn't that the first... Uh, John Kent or something. Maybe that's number two. I don't remember, but I grabbed it. Did grab a little pinch of Teen Titans here. Always like to grab that. That's the third appearance of Deathstroke. Uh, this is what's the, this is the one where Jessica Cruz actually becomes Green Lantern, I believe. First Anarchy. Uh, John Stewart becomes the Green Lantern. First Javelin. Sonic the Hedgehog insert. Doomsday Cameo, Newsstand. Hellblazer, number one. Uh, watch out for the end of this box. The end of this box is the meat and potatoes, I think. Killing Joke, number one. Second or third or fourth print, whatever. And then I think the green, is the green first print? I don't remember. But we got this classic, uh, first Red Hulk. Avengers Annual 7. 
That's a classic Carnage USA. Heir to the Empire. I'm going to have to take a look at that, see how the condition is. Maybe it'll be a submitter. I don't know. First Admiral Thrawn. Very nice. Uh, Cheval Noir. Different stuff than I normally have, that's for sure. This is, as he explained to me, a freshly pressed copy of DD-181. So that's nice. I got X-Men 102, 105, and 103. And all of them are like near mint minus -y looking, very fine plus at the worst. Uh, I want to do a little work on them, see if I can't solidify them in the near mint range, but we'll see. <laughs> Nova number one, baby. Black Panther number one. Then we've got the first Mystique on cover and first appearance of Rogue. We have a really sharp copy of Eternals number one, if anyone cares. Labyrinth number one. Preacher, hell yeah, number one. And I think there's two books left. Yeah, we got the... Witchblade number one and the Batman 655 which is the 1 in 10 variant I believe not bad at all guys again this is just one box I did think that this was the best box to kind of showcase what I was able to get from this but this means that we are going to be able to do some really good pricing for this weekend's claim sale it's actually going to be on saturday not sunday i'm working at the antique shop on sunday i'll also see you there so keep on hunting folks i will see you this weekend stay tuned love you all make sure to come down to sentiment depot antiques and collectibles where i'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 west delaware ave pennington new jersey open every day except for monday and tuesday Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.